hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i will be showing you guys the 29 gallon i have not done a video on this tank i do not believe ever i think i just haven't done any videos on this tank at all but uh you can see how it looks pretty much it's not really an update because you didn't see it this tank or how it was before now but right there I got some started James weapons I got the sword plants growing babies out of it right there got a big plant there got the wood there got the little rocks got another sword plant there you know, the crypts now the crypts that are in the 55 came out of this tank this tank grows crypts like crazy and they spread as you can see, spread it all the way over here from over there. So, yeah. Um, the Wisteria is bouncing back. I don't know what it's doing. Like, Wisteria is not doing very well in this tank. Or the other tank, so. Not too sure what's going on with that. Got some high grow filler in there. See how green it is at the top. So, that's the new growth. It's doing good. And then Labilia Cardinalis is not doing too good in this tank but that is the old old growth not really too much new growth like that little leaf right there is new growth that's it that's pretty much all of that oh and as you can see that stem that's even more babies on that amazon sword so and then the plants from the 55 gallon that's over there. on the right side of the tank that's what that is um Got some star gem wrapping in here. As you can see, there are some rams in here. German blue rams and right other rams. Now, that ram in there, those two get along. So they're probably going to pair off once they get big enough to breed. And then this one and this one get along so they can be around each other that one doesn't like that one and that one doesn't like that one which is weird because i thought that one would like that one but nope these two are by each other and the beta is in here also he's the bully you would think they bully him no he's the bully he bullies everybody in this tank he's the boss I know, a beta being the boss of cichlids. Yeah, that's what happens in this tank. I uh, also have shrimp in here. It's a little messy at the bottom, still picking up some of the algae. I'm doing the cleaning in this tank, but just leaving it there. Got some ghost shrimp in here that the cichlids do not mess with. Uh, probably when they get bigger, they'll mess with them, but there's some ghost shrimp in here. And if you recognize this, this is the lily plant. I pinched it off of the bulb and put it in this tank. And hopefully it does go well in here because I did it today. So we'll see how that goes. There's a bunch of shrimp in here, actually. A bunch of ghost shrimp. Uh, there's no neocaridinas in this tank yet. Probably will be sooner later not too sure but that is the 29 gallon and i'm gonna warp you over to the 55 gallon and over to the 55 gallon as you can see coming along got some new green growth in there Got some more of these plants in here, which is kind of weird because at the top, it's getting color. But I think that's because the light's coming through the window right there. But as you can see, it's kind of filling in over there. Once I cut it down, then it'll get more bushier and all that. But till then, just, you know, waiting. See what happens. Now that's the bulb that I pinched it off of. As you can see, it still has it still has another plant on it, and then it has another plant over there. So 
it's still gonna produce plants bulbs not done producing plants yet so I'm gonna leave it in there see if it can produce some more and then in this one it was two plants on this one too um, you can see it right there there's one that's still in there I'm leaving that alone for now leaving it where it's at let it grow and I'm gonna pinch it off and see how many lily plants I can get off of there because here's the one that I pinched off of that one put it over here let's see what it does see if it like grows tall or stays short if it gets bushy fine because it'll block out the light from this plant right here because I don't want it to get too much light and then got some moss in here some moss and then got the hornwort back there which I hope it gets grows like bushy right there like this area I want it all covered And then it'll be fine, in my opinion. But yeah, got got some uh, moss, some Java moss. It's not any of that other stuff. Just regular Java moss. I just shoved it in places wherever I could, and it's staying in there. The fish aren't digging it out, so hopefully it grows. You know, and then it grows along all of this. I don't want it to cover the rock, but I want it to, you know make the rock look a little bit more natural with some growth on it and it's pretty much this tank for update the s reppins is you know is growing back you can see the leaves at the top it is growing back convict cichlid trying to attack my finger it is growing back and it is doing pretty fine and it's uh, the little pieces over there too doing good so yeah tanks doing good got the newbies coming out of here too um, got the fern and got this fern over here it kind of like you know buried but it's not buried just the roots it's fine right there sword plant is growing good you don't see it the leaves bending or anything right now so sword plants doing good and got one more tank okay now I know I'm gonna hear it for this tank so bring it on I know it's gonna come it's gonna be like somebody somebody's gonna say it but this tank I've been vacuuming ever so often. I'm not trying to vacuum, like, do a water change every, like, 30 minutes, though, because I don't want to get all the beneficial bacteria out of there and, like, crash the cycle. I know it's in the filter or whatever, but if you do too much of a water change, you can kill all your fish. Especially if you put the water back in, it's cold or too hot. So I've been draining it like a week at a time to get all the excess stuff out of there. Because I want it out. I do. Trust me, I am doing the gravel vacuum and all of that. I've gotten that side out. I just got to finish getting this side clean. Uh, there is a beta in here, and there are some guppies in here, and then I put plants in here, back in here. Got the high grow, got the crypt, green crypt, and then some s repens the moss, and then the uh, fern is growing good in here, even though the light is like really low. It's not high light in this tank. It's kind of medium to basic light in this tank, so doing pretty fine the beta is like really colorful my daughter picked it out this is the beta she wanted she just couldn't couldn't turn away from this beta so got it put it in here with the guppies um, there was no light on this tank at all uh, the only plant that was in this tank before I before the beta 
came in here is this crib. There was no light on this tank for a month. And that crib still survived. And this is why in my last video, I said that crips are like amazing. Like they survive a lot. So this was in here with no light for a month. And then this piece right here was in here for a month with no light because the light fell into the water. I don't know what it is with me, but every time I get a light, it falls into my tank water when I'm not here, come back and it's gone. Now that moss, uh, it looks like it's dead, but hopefully it does come back. I just put it in there, got it from the store. Hopefully it does come back. If not, I can just take it out of there. It doesn't really matter, just a little bit. Just some extra moss that I had. But yep, that's the update on this tank and all the tanks that are up and running right now. Except for the tank outside, but I'll do an update video separately from this one because this one is carrying on a little bit too long for me. So, if you have any questions or want to update on any one of the tanks or have any questions about any one of the tanks that I showed in this video, just leave a comment. I'll try and get to them as soon as possible. Peace.